back guys and today is a major upgrade day for Lucy and Jake actually he's coming back from the dead look at all these super ATV boxes he's got this dude is building it up yeah we got to help him put it back together <laughs> yeah reincarnate this thing man 100% I didn't get to go to Badlands work issues but he had a major accident down there in the mommy track you get to fix it though. Yeah, do you get to fix it? Cool. I think we found out why he was standing straight up. I think maybe this just speared into the earth. I think so. And just and then tipped over. Yeah, because Jake literally at Badlands, if you haven't seen it, or not Badlands, Check Mommy, uh, where this crash happened on a side by side track, he like nose stood for about three seconds. The guy adjusted his goggles and tried turning it off 14 times. Oh! But yeah, Jake is totally upgrading his rig. He has super ATV, high clearance control arms, radius rods, the whole shebang. So she'll be back bigger, stronger, faster. Yeah. As far as the plastic, zip tie, uh, whatever it takes, yeah, man. We'll Kentucky fix her. Chrome and Kentucky Chrome. <laughs> it looks good, man. <laughs> so, but yeah. as far as Lucy, though, yes, she has some pretty awesome upgrades coming today. She does. A hundred percent. This is like Wheel of Fortune, dude. These are all your prizes. Ooh, <laughs> just... yeah. You got a spare tire carrier. <laughs> How much did it cost? Too much. <laughs> uh, yeah, but spare tire carrier, uh, catch can, SMB particle separator. So we got three different brands coming here. This is from Brick City. I had it originally. I've just been so busy, I've not been able to get this thing on. So it does have like the hydraulic shocks. So it'll go up and down. The whole shebang clamps right onto the cage. And this is for later. We're not going to do it today, but that's a windshield wiper. She's going on, and it's going to have squirters. Oh, <laughs> so spare tire carrier, then the old famous uh, catch can. We're going to go over everything this thing does when we put it on. And then SMB uh, particle separator again. Yep, probably nice mini missile rocket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, basically, these two items right here are engine savers for your razor. If you want your thing, to, your machine to last a long time, I recommend these two upgrades almost immediately. I'm actually disappointed I didn't have it on sooner. A hundred percent. I actually, <clears throat> in my turbo, just changed out the filter, and I cleaned it out before our last few of our rides. Where, uh, you know, uh, where did we go on the last real? What was that real dusty one? Uh, Oh, we went to Misaki Trail. Yep. So the Misaki Trail, that was super dusty. It was really bad. I pulled the air filter out and literally was knocking out like piles of dirt. A couple gallons. A couple gallons. <laughs> it, was, it was blowing my mind. And I remember on the old turbo with the SME particle separator, it seemed like that air filter never got dirty. No, I could have used the original from the day I bought it to the day I sold 100%. it. 4,000 miles. So you could just tell that this thing really does work. So if you don't know what it is, I'll elaborate on this a little bit. All right, SMB particle separator, in my opinion, the first upgrade you should put on your vehicle if you plan on having your car for a while or you just want that motor to be good. See all these? These have little fans in them. So this is your new intake on your vehicle. It will not be that side vent anymore. That's the wrong side, but same thing. Uh, these turn on, dirt goes into it. Guess what? Flip her around. It shoots out these little vents. Yep, right here. So I, this is actually the newest version, 2.0. Mine was the 1.0. This actually had a giant exhaust on the back. It's way smaller. I was not expecting that. I did not look at over very well. Oh yeah. I've had this in here for a couple months probably, and I have an open yeah, box. That's true. But yeah, so they'll shoot right out here on these little holes. All the dust. And so all the air going to your machine, clean air. I'm not kidding. You're air filter will not get dirty this yeah. thing works so awesome yep it does too because uh like i said on the old turbo never changed the fill i don't even know if you changed i changed it, it once one time that now. was it and the only reason i did it is because i felt weird leaving the 2000 mile air filter on yeah that and the one time you rolled over and got a little oily that's oh, the only yep, other I forgot, time yeah. i think you changed the air filter yeah and seriously they, it was clean every time 
and I just pu I pulled mine out, and it was dusty, so dusty after one ride. And you pretty much want to replace it because it's a paper yeah. air filter. It's like you can blow the air, yep. the dirt out, but it's not the same. And I mean, so as much as you got to go through air filters, it's worth it. It's worth the buy. You 100%. could get like a K and N. But it does have oil on it, and I'll tell you right now, it gets dirty like that. You will pretty much need to clean it every ride. I don't got time for that. I want to hop in my rig and go. SMB particle separator, yep. that is the way, man. And we're going to install it on Lucy. And I'll tell you right now, it's going to be a tight fit with a spare tire carrier and all this. Yep. Brick City <clears throat> told me it fit. I trust them. So, so it we'll see. Fit. <laughs> we'll make it fit. Yeah. One way or another. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's get to dive work. into this thing and get to yeah. work, man. One last thing though, if you guys notice, this cage is a hair different than the one that you last seen on it. It is a hair different. Yep, well, there's a few minor things that are different. Guess what, I got a different cage. Long story short, Brick City Fab hooked us up. We got another one, and this dude's putting it on his turbo. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna look sweet. Man. Yep, so Those we're gonna be parts. customizing that thing for his turbo, it'll yep. be sick looking. Exactly. Be ready for that project. 100%. Cool, cool. Alright, let's do Lucy though. Over there in deep thought. Dude! Oh, why? <laughs> then we got the master mullet over here. Dude, master mullet my ass. Whoever put these on was Hercules, which was me by the way. <laughs> <laughs> which was me by the way. <laughs> what we're gonna do first is we're gonna actually install the spare tire rack. We're gonna get that all set up, laid out, and then that way uh, we really know how the SMB can go in there. First step, we're gonna put these here. So we can try resting the spare tire carrier on these while we line up the clamps and everything. Super simple process. Two screws that are already in the bed, and then uh, yep. the right one that fits. And then it just sits right in there. Yeah, it does, real nice. Super simple, man. Yeah, exactly. Simple's my favorite. <laughs> like me. Simple. Simple guy. Simple Zack. S simple Jack. <laughs> no, Simple Zack. <laughs> simple Zack. Paul! <laughs> yeah, this thing's gonna be looking like a trophy truck. Hey, well, man, I can't wait to pour it too either, dude. It's long awaited. We gotta get you on those terror hooks so I can steal the coyotes. Yeah, I know. That's gonna be happening real soon. Again, thank you, guys at Side by Side Blog. Okay, this thing is dry fitted on there right now. Obviously, these are the stoppers. Here, are the spare tire carrier itself. It's got like this cool little mesh on it. I wish I would have done red. That would have been pretty awesome. Anyways, so here's the arm that connects to the spare tire carrier. It's this cage clamp. It goes right on there. Right now, we're just making sure the seat belts have enough room and everything. Uh, right now, we're going to get the other arm on there and do some measurements, make sure it's in the center and everything. But so far, looking pretty sharp. I'm excited to see an actual tire on there and the whole shebang, because I had the SNDR, SDR uh, bag that's gonna fit right under here. Put a little cooler there, particle separator. I can't wait. Dun, da, da, da. Oh boy. A big box for bolts. Bolt. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Stickers. Cool. Those, those are the most expensive part. Yeah. yeah. So these are the rear radius rods. Nice, man. High clearance box in. Yep, they that's look sweet. Thicker than a Snickers, son. They do, dude. Come here and look at the radius rods that oh are on right gosh. now. Yeah. To dude, these, dude. Yeah, so you're the radius rods, dude. Uh, it, it's a what? Yeah, that's not <laughs> even the same. World. That's not even the same world. Not even close. Grease matches Blue the uh, radius rod. Wow. You me. know when I got mine, it was red on red. Was it really? No, I just made uh, that up. Like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> they don't mess around. It's super easy. <laughs> Dude, nice man, that is gonna match and look good. Yeah, already have the ball joints in there. Yep. That is something I'm super happy yeah, about. That's nice, man. You are murdering that powder. Coat. I was just gonna say, you do not care. Break it, Jake. Wow, cool. Oh man, man. They even zip tied these in so they don't. Oh wow, look that's at that, dude. They, they got grease certs. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice job, dude. Man. My sock that's ones sweet. actually had that. I don't think so. Yeah, I did. Do they? Yep. Oh, they do. Wow, the stock ones do have yeah. it. Wow. When did you quit doing that, Polaris? Yeah, I was like, I don't Dude. think mine has that. They it. definitely don't. Yeah, 100% don't. I no. want to double check. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No. They quit doing it. Yeah, they did. They quit doing it. wonder why. 
because they can make more money. <laughs> Mine keeps squeaking. Well, let me lube it up for you. <laughs> yeah, that blue looks great with that, man. This whole machine's gonna look awesome. Wait till you see the tires. <laughs> <laughs> tickle, tickle. <laughs> hey, we got both these arms on right now. Uh, did a little measuring, use a level, make sure everything's good to go. Pro tip number one. Learn from us. The hydraulic shocks for the spare tire carrier to open it up, mount it right here. So probably should have been step number one. Yeah, yep. We should have looked at this, maybe analyzed it a little bit more because I'm not gonna lie, these were a kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah, they're horrible. They are, yeah. They're not a kind of a pain in the butt. They're a super pain in the butt. They're probably one of the worst spots for the cage. Yeah, that sucks. That was our fault. I wish I would have known this before. Yep. But I put the damn cage on. You guys are doing a cage and you got a tire, a spare tire carrier. Make sure you put your hydraulics in with the cage. Yeah. You gotta take it all apart. Don't just get gun ho. Maybe check things over a little bit. Highly recommended it. Yeah. Oh. Get around. Uh, yeah, I couldn't compress it wow, either. That's a super tough hydraulic, dude. Yeah. Hydraulics! How much does a tire weigh? For real. Dude. Is it gonna work? I have no, it's just going to be stuck up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go over some tips and tricks for putting the spare tire carry on because there are some lessons we learned here. This bracket right here mounts to the cage and that is the angle it goes at. Originally we had it pointed up and then the shocks can't make it all the way down to the stoppers. So you have to have it pointed down. Um, these things, they have adjustment. We at first were clamping this down and the rubber was like shooting off to the side because there's way too much pressure. Uh, little fine adjustments and getting this thing level, it's pretty much there. And yeah, you might as well wait till the very end. Just barely tighten these and then once you got everything fitted, then clamp those cage clamps down. Wow, look at that Terra hook on the back, dude. Dude. Lucy's looking complete now. That spare tire carrier is awesome, man. That literally makes the back of the car look so mean. Especially when that little space right there is filled with the S and B, son. Yeah. Bam, bam. Yeah, for real. That's awesome too. That's gonna fit like that right in here. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. We'll play with it, but we'll make it work. I mean, you can see there's the room, there's the clearance, so we'll fab something in there. We'll make it happen, but. The spare tire carrier, a little bit more of a project. It's kind of making sure everything fit right. Yeah. It's definitely a two-person job. It would, it would be rough for with one person. Just hold the same It would be hard. But when it's done, it looks awesome. Yeah, it just takes some fine-tune adjustments, yeah, like I was saying. And and like we were saying with the uh, dampeners, the shock absorbers here for this, yeah. the leverage definitely is what makes it. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. You couldn't do it by hand, but just pulling this thing down. Yeah. No problem. You just boom these come up oh. on snap like this and then wham bam i'll have my s and d yep. sdr bag in here a cooler in the rear just like the front door man yep just like the front <laughs> door it's the back door though oh yeah that's right it is the back door <laughs> don't come in my back door <laughs> to hold the tire down you got a simpson uh y strap right here look at that thing yeah that's pretty sweet man those are some heavy duty hooks. Yeah, they are. So is there, yep, so you got the three hooks and then the ratchet just goes right over the middle of the tire? I guess so. Yeah. That's pretty sweet, man. That's yeah, gonna look very Baja, very trophy truck, yeah, very it's, radical. It's gonna look awesome, I cannot yeah, wait. Me too, man. I'm glad we got it on. That's awesome. I almost want to try the Y-strap on the tire. I Let's do it. Let's right. just fold it over. Yeah. We gotta do it. Let's get on the Wow, that's... Looks yeah. pretty sweet with the Simpson logo right there in the rear. That is sweet, dude. Yeah, so That's you can see sweet. it's just... Yep, it's just going to sit like this, and the strap goes over like that, the hook's right there. Ooh. And then it allows you to grab the ratchet. Yeah, easy peasy. Easy peasy, man. They, they thought that out. That's cool. Man, that looks awesome. It does. It, it looks, looks way so awesome. awesome. We should almost leave the tire there, so... When we put this S&B on, we know yeah, that totally. it fits. 100%. I'm pretty skeptical of this, but we'll see. Let's see how it goes. Let's, I think we dry fit it right now. Well, I'm, right. I'm super curious. Let's look at the clamps. Oh my gosh. All right. So this SMB particle separator actually comes with great instructions. Yet it has one of those codes you scan with your phone. But 
With this cage and everything, uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. Nick thinks he's came up with a way. I think I did. The brackets themselves, I don't know where we just set them at. That's a bummer. Yeah, there, there's brackets though, but right now, yeah. with the spare tire carrier up, with the tire on there and everything, it pretty much needs to be it right is. against this, which yeah. pretty much 99.9% .9 of the fans are exposed to how they should be. It really doesn't need a ton of airflow. These right. things are pretty crazy. And you can see like right here is the mounting point. And the brackets that they came with are adjustable, so you can put them on angles and, you know, yeah. it's not just a straight bracket or straight down, it's actually like, it is, it's adjustable. And then, yeah, when you center it, it looks like you got just enough room for the air intake tube. So, I'm thinking, it, uh, I had my doubts at first, but... Yeah, I've I had doubts work. too. So, next move is to just assemble the brackets, get everything kind of lined up. And uh, just kind of make sure it fits nice and tight. So, yeah, lots then, of little tedious things. Right, and then after that, it's going to be running some wires and the air intake tube and really particle separator. That's about it after that. Yeah, I hope it's. Yeah, I say easy. it's that easy. Like I'm making it sound quick. Yeah, no problem, <laughs> but, yeah. but we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see. Nothing's easy. Ask Jake. Yeah. He's using <laughs> Sector Seven and Rough Country Power to light the light his way right now. Get it going. We're getting it. Yeah, <laughs> we're getting it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. S and B particle separator is mounted, but it took some customization. <laughs> like, it just was not going to work with the hardware we were given and yeah. the way this cage is set up. Uh, with a little crafty uh, Nick Guyverin. Nick Guyverin. This guy over I here, dude. <laughs> Bolt master. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> But yeah, we got it in there. It looks actually really good. It doesn't look bad, no, man. I mean, all. for what troubles we're having, I mean, yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, it it, it kind of goes with the look. I mean, with the tire carrier and then. The, oh yeah, I mean, very it, racy. It, it does. It looks really racy. It looks really cool. It really got compliments itself. So one little issue that might be is this is where your tube is going to have to come through and hook to here. This gets replaced. Yep. Uh, you this know, is a pretty tight squeeze. But if words comes to words, you know, right now we have the SMB particle separator like uh, centered with the frame. Yeah. So if it came down to it, we could off center it mm -hmm. and we could push it, you know, an inch, maybe two more inches this direction, which gives us a little bit yeah, more there. Yeah, push so. it over that way a little bit. Hopefully it makes it like that. That way it stays aesthetic being in the center. If not, I'm all about aesthetics, dude. Exactly. And aesthetics. athletics. Aesthetics, calesthetics. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we're going to open the tire carrier up. Just make sure that this oh, does yeah. uh, go one more time. Let's see. Let's see. It's not hitting it. Looking good, eh? Yeah, it's looking good. You're just going to, we're going to have to keep the tire just pushed back maybe a little ways. Yep. Worst case scenario. Exactly. It's worth it though. That's how important the SMB is. Yes. I'll scoop the tire back. The tire will sit where it needs to be. <laughs> All right. She's coming along, man. It is, man. This thing is looking so cool. Oh, God. I, I can't wait to see it. I love that little red on. tag right there. Yeah. I can't wait to see it complete, man. It's the tire, the, the everything in it. This with the SMB. Mm -hmm. So cool. The, the rear chase light with the tire. It's going to look. Ah! It's going to look nice. It's going to look like it's ready, man. Just, oh, I'm excited. All right, let's. Uh, What's the next step? I'm thinking maybe either we run the wiring or we run the tubing. We're at that point. I think the hardest part is finally over. and that. Will, oh, yeah, that was definitely going to be the hardest, be the hardest part. part. Yeah. Now it's just running some simple wire and running the tube. So let's, uh, let's get this baby powered up. All right, to begin wiring up this thing, you need to get your ground and your positive onto the bus bar. Ignore this nasty mess. This is not how it really looks. We're doing a fuse box, it'll be all cleaned up. So hook it up to the bus bar, and what I did with mine is I ran it down to the coolant tunnel. You remove your plastic right here. Right here is your coolant tunnel. You can see I just ran it right down there. Comes out the back. Comes out the back and then I feed it right up to where the engine bay is. And then as you can see right now, Nick is working on it. Yep. <clears throat> this is the sensor right here that lets you know if uh, when you're getting on the throttle. So the SMB particle separator varies um, uh, on your throttle speed. So like the version, the 1.0, it was just a constant on. It was loud. It was super loud. 
So what's nice about this one is when you let off the throttle and you're not having so much noise, the particle separator, you know, powers down a little bit. When you get out of the throttle and you got all that engine noise, it powers up so you don't really, you know, the engine kind of uh, drowns out that. So that's a pretty cool feature, actually. Especially because of how close it's going to be to our heads. If I'm parked, this thing will go down to 20% power and they say, like, you don't even hear it. And then... yeah. I think you throttle on a little bit, it goes on to 50, and then once you hit full, it just stays on, and there's about a five second delay for it to go yep. back to so, just uh, 20%. So we're just, you just zip tie that little sensor right to the um, coil and uh, coil pack, and uh, I'm guessing like when you get on the throttle, the, you know, it powers up, everything like that, and that just is going to indicate it so it's bluetooth just, yeah it just bluetooth <laughs> or something <laughs> I, I was mind blown that you just zip tied to it but apparently that is the process yeah, it uh, shows it in the instructions too yeah hey, instructions works. don't lie either exactly so far <laughs> they've been bailing us out <laughs> <laughs> so you have your one main harness that runs all the way to the back here and then in this engine bay is a another harness that you're going to click to and that's what goes to uh the ignition and then another one splits off and that is what's going to plug into your SMB. And so I'm going to just zip tie everything above the intake, all the extra wiring. And then I just ran it right through this hole here. And then it plugs in right underneath the SMB. Yep. Nick's grunt happy right now. Grunt. All right, we got this thing all hooked up. All the wires are there. I mean, it, it should turn on. Yeah, I see. Let's run it real quick. I mean, right. it's just going to cycle in. It's good. So if we start the car, it should just turn on 20% power. Yeah, right? it should be really quiet. I think you got to start it? I think you got to start it. Did Zach hook yep. up his wires right? <laughs> you, go, you go black and black, red and red? Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. It is the next day. Guess what? S&B particle separator didn't go as planned. Wiring harness has something wrong with it. So that's why we're jumping it right now. But guess what? Jake's rig is finished with all the super ATV upgrades and he is a happy camper. He's ready to roll. Let's do this. Yeah, pull her out, dude. Break It Jake has brought his rig back from the grave, man. Nice, dude. Looks like a little slot car, man. Oh, man. First look from here. Right? Yeah, dude. Did some work on it last night. Finished it up this morning. T touch up a few things. We got our plastics good to go for the weekend. and a little zip tie action and she's good, dude. Yep, 30 inch sensors. These are really popular out west. Super lightweight tire, system three rims on their bead locks. So, I mean, uh, curious how the tire will do out here. I think yeah. it will perform well. Taking it straight to the dunes. Yeah. I'm gonna get paddle tires for this weekend, but I think they'll be good. Run like seven or eight PSI and got the bead locks. So we're good to go. Man, I just can't believe how well it looks after seeing what it looked like. Yeah. I mean, this. Flashback. <laughs> I mean, she has a little scarage yeah. here and stuff. Nothing crazy, though. I mean, it really does not look bad, man. Look at all those dinky stock parts. Yeah, beefy. Beefy. I got the beef. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Arby's Mobile right here, man. All right, big bummer about the particle separator, but like I said, harness will be sent here, so hopefully we'll get that running right away. But this whole video is basically, I mean, these are all super important things I think you should have on your vehicle for longevity. That separator is gonna help. You're never gonna have dirt or anything going into your uh, air filter, into your engine. And then this catch can that I'm about to put on, it's probably just as important as that particle separator, especially if you have a turbo, you run E85, or uh, you got a tune on it. Highly recommended. So I'm going to break down what this thing really does. All right, here's the aftermarket assassin's catch can. So what it's going to be doing is taking your crank, uh, crankcase breather tube right there, whoop, runs to that in, uh, intake tube. So it's going to be coming right down there below your oil filter. I know you can't see very well. You're going to unplug it from here and it's going to route into this. And then this one is actually going to go to the top of the motor where your uh, valve cover is. 
you do not have to get the catch can that goes to the top of the valve cover. This is that's like the highest version of it. So what this does is depending on what version of the catch can you get, uh, Evo, RPM, whatever it may be, you might have to weld a bung into here. Well, guess what? I do not want to do that. So life hack. I saw on the Evolution Power Sports uh, catch can that they had this cool little adapter that just replaces your oil cap. So, my buddy at Classic Motorsports, Nate, showed me this little fancy thing. Alba Racing makes this adapter. So don't have to weld the bung in. I kind of suck you have to buy it separately, but whatever, man. I have it. Aftermarket Assassin's catch can. Get both versions. You just pop off your oil cap. You can see there was a rubber ring that was supposed to be there. I popped it off and put it on this Alba one. And just like that, it replaces it. And then you can just twist it in, bam. It's just like your uh, OEM one. And then that secondary tube that's coming off that catch can is gonna run right to this. All right, I'm no expert. I'm not claiming to be. So this thing is supposedly to help relieve crank uh, crankcase pressure. I'm gonna read what AA says this thing does and then also give my opinions of what it kind of does. All right, this is so this is what AA says. This will remove the crankcase vent from pushing oil into your turbo and intake track. It will now go into this can making for much cleaner intake and no more burning oil. We designed this catch can to maintain or decrease the amount of crank crankcase pressure in your motor, like I said before. So many other catch cans restrict flow and actually make the problem of pushing oil worse. All right, AA's claiming theirs is better than the other companies. Uh, depending on the version of the catch can you purchase, blah, 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 blah. So I have the, I believe it's called version three. So that's the one that goes to the top of the motor and also to your crankcase uh, tube. So now we're gonna go over installing this thing. Uh, also, basically, I think it's something to do with like the emissions. Uh, is a big problem but also over time your uh, vehicle will have blow by and so there's like vapor of oil gas moisture of water and this catch can is going to pretty much catch all that so it's not recirculating into your turbo or going through your engine because obviously water and stuff like that doesn't burn very well so all that catch can is going to help those problems. If you have a tune, sometimes it, your vehicle can smell rich. I'm thinking this is going to solve those problems. I've had a little bit, but I put that quiet core in, and honestly, it seemed to reduce it. All right, again, uh, let's get into installing this thing. All right, to begin installing this catch can, you have four bolts that are going to go on this thing. It's a 3 8 uh, drill bit you'll need. I just drilled right through the side of the bed. You can see the holes coming out. Just Fit it up to there, use a marker, mark it. Do a better job than I did because I had to wall out my holes a little bit. All right, so here's the hose you'll be removing from the intake. So this runs down below like where your oil filter is and this is your crankcase breather too. I'm gonna remove this guy and it's gonna go right here. And then this one will be running to uh, the top of the engine where I'll be using the Alba Racing and we'll hook that hose right up and we'll have, be able to relieve crankcase pressure from the top and bottom. I'm not an expert, like I said, there's other videos where people can uh, elaborate on this a little bit better. I watched an RPM guy uh, break it down and he definitely knew more about it than I do. All right, we just loosen that bad boy up. Now yank that tube off. All right, there. So AA provides a rubber cap to cover this. And so what it looks like, do do simple just put a hose clamp over it and a uh, clamper down make sure no air leaking is going on there don't want any moisture getting into the intake and just like that she slips on but yeah just like that wham bam making ham all right so you can see that's where it was and here's the new uh, tube that came off of it so we're gonna try routing it to up here wow they weren't kidding that is a tight fit hey i'm glad i Put this thing all the way on the very back of the box. Bam. All right. She's on there. That is a tight fit. So when you mount this, put it right against the bracket because you have very little room for uh, error. All right, so I'm just gonna use the clamp that was on there. Make sure this is nice and snug. All right, she's all snug on there. So you got your crankcase breather running right up to here. Perfect. 
And while I'm sitting here, I'm going to tighten down this filter so I don't forget. If you're wondering what that noise is outside, that sounds like a vacuum. It's an electric power washer. Jake's cleaning up his uh, Blue Angel. All right, like I showed you earlier, this is the elbow racing adapter. So, one thing I didn't know, the fitting on this is definitely bigger than the hose that they give you. So, I, there's probably better routes, but what I did is, because I'm in a time crunch, I just heated up the hose and uh, shoved her on there. It worked. It's, it's gonna do the same thing, so it'll be fine. Uh, but all right, so into hooking this up. I'm just now realizing how much of a pain in the ass it's gonna be if I wanna add oil, but it's worth it. I think this is uh, worth the pain in the butt. All right, she snapped in there, she's good. I got my hose clamp on. She's nice and tight. So I'm gonna shove it down here. All right, now I got the hose ran underneath all these lines and everything out of the way. It kind of curves up perfectly right into this thing. Slide this puppy onto there. Bam, all the lines are ran. Everything's tightened up. Aftermarket Assassin's catch can is installed. So, like I was saying earlier, this is gonna catch all those vapors of fuel, moisture, all the stuff you don't want to be running through your turbo engine, building up in your inner cooler. I mean, uh, this thing will prevent a lot of issues you could have in the future, especially running tunes or E85. Like I said, E85, I think you like 100% need to have it. E85 can dilute your uh, oil, blah, blah, blah. It's, I mean, you got to do a lot of oil changes if you run an E85. I mean, my opinion. So the catch can, when it builds up with these fluids, vapors, oils, water, moisture, whatever the hell it is, it is going to be easy to drain it. It's this little thing right here. You just twist it some way. Which way is it? All right. So when this thing is filled up or after every ride, that's probably what I'm going to do because... Honestly, I don't know how often you're supposed to do it. So I'm going to do it after every ride. I'm really curious how much stuff is in here. So you, what you do is just crack this little valve and then whoop, all the nasty stuff is just going to pour out the bottom where I have it sitting. It's probably going to go on the ground, but I'm not a bad guy. I'm not going to pour my nasty contaminants onto the ground. We're going to use a cup. Wow, man, it looks pretty sharp in there. Actually, I love the, the aluminum matches. The whole look of Lucy we got going on here. Big bummer, I didn't get to really show you the SMB finished in this video, but whatever, stuff happens. You guys will see uh, in future videos when I start breaking it down and showing you guys how awesome this thing is. It's like, it's a little bit pricey. I think it's 500 bucks for the 2.0 version. You have to get it, it's the best one. Uh, <laughs> but the amount of time you save cleaning air filters i mean i'm not kidding red turbo has had it since brand new i could have ran the stock filter to the day it died four thousand miles i'm not kidding so it's worth the investment and this thing she's going to keep the engine running even cleaner no more nasty contaminants going through the uh turbo and intercool and stuff like that so i'm a happy person i gotta start getting all this stuff finished up so I gotta get Lucy looking tight, and uh, we're gonna wrap up the video with that. guys i got lucy looking tight she's all wrapped up ready for silver lake this weekend celebrating america uh yeah catch cans on separators kind of on just need that harness real big bummer about that but stay tuned guys because in the next ride you guys are going to see us ripping silver lake 
Doing a review of the aftermarket assassin's catch can. Let's see how much stuff this thing actually catches. Plus, eventually you'll see the particle separator. We'll rip Baldwin or some awesome trails that are usually dusty, and we'll see how this thing really performs. I'll put a brand new air filter in there and show you guys how well this thing does. A couple other upgrades uh, I did mention before, but I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more. But one thing I didn't show you guys at all. I don't know, you guys tell me if you think it's stupid. I think it looks cool. Red Bull hooked us up with those rigid pods a long time ago. One of the set of pods was uh, their brake lights. Well, I had an idea to make Lucy have a little bit more accent. I put them in the front. Like, I love the pods that are mounted here. I had them on my old Razor and I thought they were sweet. So, the new windshield I got has red vents now. These with that, I think it looks tight. I think the red accents look awesome. I'm loving it, man. They are super bright. So you guys will see it because actually we'll get to ride at night at Silver Lake for 4th of July. So you'll see all of our cars lit up. Nick has some crazy lights hooked up on his turbo. So stay tuned for that, guys. These, these next few videos are going to be killer. Two Silver Lakes, then maybe a little mystery. So I got this bag before I even put this on because I knew it would fit in there. I actually... I realized I could have got a way bigger one, honestly. I could have got uh, one of the Polaris ones, but this thing is pretty killer. This SDR bag, man. This thing is the bomb. Like, for storage, it is killer. You can take it in and out. Super easy. I love it. It fits with the spare tire carrier. Definitely recommend it. So the Alba Racing uh, oil cap that I put on there doesn't let my trunk close. I need a 90 degree, though uh the bung coming out of it or whatever straight up it needs to be a 90 so the hose doesn't get in the way so i'm running no lid on there for the weekend because i ain't taking the catch can off and uh i'll figure it out i'll find a solution so stay tuned to whatever i gotta do for that and this awesome weekend i appreciate all you guys for watching don't forget august 21st the first Dirt Dudes group ride at Twisted Trails Off-Road Park in Copemish, Michigan. Crash a Palooza, boys. Be there, be square. There's going to be all sorts of stuff. Raffles, uh, prizes, parts. I mean, I'm giving away 500 bucks to somebody. And it's going to be for something pretty cool here. So stay tuned for the $500 giveaway. Plus there's raffle, giving away parts, all that stuff. Blah, 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 blah. We're going to talk about it more later. You should really follow our Facebook and our Instagram because we do a lot of updates on there and you guys can follow along. It's just Dirt Dudes UTV, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, get updates all the time, let you know where we're riding. All the good stuff. All right, I gotta go. I gotta start getting this stuff loaded up. I'm taking too long. Everybody's gonna get mad at me. All right, say goodbye to Lucy. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all of you. And uh, Dirt Merch and Patreon is below. So if you wanna help support us, just uh, look in the description. There's links to it and all the parts we use. So like everything here, it's below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.